You know, I don't ever do quests on stream. I did it once a really long time ago and decided it would take away from the episode, so I never did it again. But when it comes to the next quest, I had a little change of heart. See, I know you guys adore watching me suffer, and I, I know it would really satisfy all of your sick, demented, fucked up heads to see it as it's happening. So for the next one, released on November 6, 2006, quest number 115, Enlighted Journey, I did it live on Twitch. Here's how it went. Man, I bet everything they confiscate goes right in this box. Fully automatic rifles in here. Alright, we're talking to August. He needs an accomplice or an assistant. He's uh, the first balloonist in all of Gilinor. Very cool. You're gonna go where no man has gone before? That sounds cool, but I was thinking more like Taverly. <laughs> this is what the balloon's gonna look like. Look at that. I had this epiphany while I was at the glassblower's house. Oh, so you did drugs and you had this idea to fly in the air in a balloon. This man is going to kill both of us. Where do I get all this stuff? You're the adventurer, you should know. Fuck you, August. Watch this science. Yeah, baby. Look at her go. Fuck. Your hypothesis was right. Did you not see the burning? This old man wants us killed. We're testing again for fun. Oh, destroy the floating thing. Thank you. I just shrugged. Ah, oh well. Well, that went down like a lead balloon. Yeah, probably because uh, there were gentlemen with pitchforks prodding at it. The flash mob phenomenon? August, I don't think you know what a flash mob is. That'd be like a bunch of high school kids dancing in the cafeteria synchronized together. That wasn't a flash mob. Those were dangerous people. I had quickly realized during the stream that one of the items I need were willow branches, which which you get after planting a willow tree, waiting six hours, and then chopping them with secateurs. So I had to plant a tree and wait till the next day to stream again. We've got some time while the tree grows, so sit down so I can talk to you. I'm a big quality of life guy. I make investments to avoid any and all annoying things. One of those investments being today's sponsor, NordVPN, because I use the internet a lot, and the internet has unlimited annoying things. NordVPN is like a multi-tool for the internet. I have it handy for big downloads, accessing content normally blocked in my country, masking my IP address, and it has solved so many dumb internet problems for me. VPNs can't technically stop ISP throttling, but speaking from my experience, every single time my download speed suddenly tanks because my provider thinks my daily dose of internet is too high, slapping on a VPN has worked 100% of the time in making them screw off and leaving me alone. I shit you not, I use it for this purpose at least once a week. Go to nordvpn.com slash jimmy for a huge discount on a two-year plan. When you use code jimmy, you'll get an extra month free. It's a tool worth trying trying out and they've got a 30 day money back guarantee if it's not doing it for you. All right, back to tree planting. Yeah, I grew that willow tree right there. You need to wait for some new branches to grow. What are you talking about? What is that? I haven't even picked them. What? Branch, please. Yes. After a quick search, the monk smiles at you, winks at you, and blows you a kiss and allows you to board. Do you have anything for me? Yeah, I do. Turn around. Just kidding, August. I don't have a gun. We're ready to fly. God damn, she looks good. I'll be honest with you. Up until this point, my inventory has been fake. The inventory is never going to be real in the new video, okay? Because everything is going to be in here. I, I'm, I'm giving up. And I'll continue to fake it. Except for this. This is too hard to fake. I don't want to do this. So basically this quest is a mini game. I have to use the balloon controls on the right to control us on screen. I've got to navigate through without hitting any birds, trees, and for some reason clouds since clouds are suddenly solid objects. It looks simple, but without a guide, eyeing the maneuvers can be ass. To complete the quest, we're going to Taverly, and then we're going to unlock Varrock and Castle Wars. I hate this already. I'm going to die. Okay, we're good. Whew. Oh, fuck me. I think we need to do... move up more... Yes! Oh, fuck. How do you do this? <laughs> Bail now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Relax, relax. Everything's fine. Okay, okay. Move down. Yes. We did it! What? 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 Well, that didn't go as planned. It fucking should have, August. It really fucking should have. I went right onto the target. I landed on the target for you. Am I gonna die? Oh, thank God. The mechanics of this are so weird, dude. Now I'm gonna go down one, and I'm just gonna glide over it. Just gliding over. Please. Thank God, dude. Yes, we did it. One down, three to go, I think, maybe three. I don't know. Wait, did I just, wait. Oh my God, we did, we unlocked Hunter. I didn't even realize that. Oh my God, I can do tears of gothics finally. That's right, folks. I can officially train every skill in this game now, but I still had some balloon riding to do. Oh, fuck all of you. You guys are doubters, you're all doubters. I remember these things. I hate this. Wait, what the fuck is this? What's going on there? So I need to go down two and then go between him. <laughs> I hate this so much. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. What the fuck? What? Do I have to go double down when I'm like right there? <laughs> I don't think that's a double up. It's just one, that's gotta be just one up. Yeah, we're gonna pull a fast one on this guy, go up two. Bam! 
Okay. And then we relax all the way. That's what I'm talking about. If you got a little balloon and you got a little fire underneath and it's going, wow, you can ride it. And you can take this fucking homeless guy with his little lab coat, his scuffed little lab coat, and do whatever you want, whenever you want. I haven't been here in so long. 12 Hunter. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> this fucking sucks. November 28th, 2006, Quest 116, Eagle's Peak. Every time a new skill came out, the devs wanted to make sure you couldn't participate in new content unless you trained it. So I had to catch birds on sticks and swing at butterflies like a psychopath for a couple hours, and now I have 27 Hunter. So let's start this thing. We're talking to Charlie. He's a zookeeper in Ardoin, and he's busy right now. Ah, you sound like someone who needs a quest doing. Why is my guy under the assumption that every time someone's busy or, or breathing, it's some sort of opportunity for quest points. They had a ferret escape recently? Why are you putting a ferret in the zoo? That's not interesting. I mean, that, that they're cool, but ferrets are like household pets. Get like a fucking meerkat or something, like a zoo thing. We're gonna go north of the gnome stronghold and search for their guy who was sent to get another ferret. He's not back yet, and he should be, so we're gonna go find him. Also, while we're running there, I wanted to mention that after a lot of planning, making sure I'd be able to have really quality stuff, my store is back up. I've got new designs and the original designs that a lot of you have asked about this last year. Apologies that it took so long to get back up, but I wanted to make sure you guys weren't waiting two months for merch to ship out. But yeah, buy a shirt or something. You're guaranteed to get laid four times in the next eight years, so go ahead. I've stumbled upon a camp. I found some nerd's bird watching book or something. I'm gonna enter this lair. Hey look, another diary. Whoever this dude was was trying to sabotage gnomes. Didn't end up well for him. They tried to use giant eagles as kamikazes or some shit, I don't know. But an old man interrupted his writing, presumably taking them all out. Man, I wonder who that was. Giant feathers. I'm gonna collect them and sell them because I'm an entrepreneur. I find ways to profit off things. Oh, hey, there's a guy over there. Oh, it's the guy I'm supposed to find. He's stuck and he would like me to trick the bird in there into thinking that he is also a bird so that he can sneak past it. At that, uh, That's a flawless plan. I'm in Varrock. This pale ass shop dude is going to make us some bird disguises. Well, I hope this eagle's on the fucking spectrum. Now we've got to get in there and get him out. This door has slots for three feathers. We got to get the feathers from around the cave. One's in here. Who the hell put this trap here? Did the giant eagles build this? <laughs> what the fuck? If the eagles put this thing here, th this disguise thing is out the window. All right, there's one. The second one's in here. It looks like we got to follow some tracks. They're headed north. Never mind. It would appear I'm extremely subpar at tracking. Oh, there's a slight curve at the end. It's going this way. Come out with your hands up. The fuck is that a pit bull? Threaten it. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. <gasps> no, I didn't mean that. That thing just reported me. I'll be muted any second now. But it's okay because it dropped a feather. Harassment's okay if it gets you what you want. The last feather's over there. I gotta do a puzzle to get it. Time to pull levers and move statues until something works. Yep, that only took 20 minutes. I would love that. Let's get the feather. And we've breached the ultimate test. Will the disguises work? I'm just gonna shimmy all... Okay. Yeah, I'm the best. What if the disguise works for me, but the eagle calls bullshit on him? Just pummels him into 400 pieces while he's shimmying across? Ah, oh, there he is. He made it. Where's your bird suit? Are you embarrassed of the quirky things we do together, Nicholas? You teach me how to catch ferrets with box traps. He didn't tell me the next step after we catch it. I'm just gonna stomp on the box out of primal instinct. Well, I've got a ferret now. Time to take it to the zoo for this mediocre exhibit no one's gonna give a fuck about. There you go, Charlie. I'm sure this thing's gonna love its life now, now that it's here for no reason. Quest complete! 2.5k Hunter XP. Love to see it. I have been waiting for this one since the day I started this account. We get one of the best pieces of ranged equipment in the game, the Ava's Accumulator. And as an Iron Man, it's gonna save me so much time and money. I'm getting close just thinking about it. But this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The last of 22 quests released in 2006, number 117, Animal Magnetism. Here she is, Ava, the savior of range training. Welcome to my humble abode. It's sadly rather more humble than I'd like. Perhaps you can help with that. Ava, that's very inappropriate. I will not sleep with you. Fix this old bed for me. Ava, for God's sake, get your mind out of the fucking gutter. Will I be able to take a nap in it? Everyone knows true warriors don't ever sleep or perform any other bodily functions. Ava, shut the fuck up. Shut up, shut up. I need to get her undead chickens, so I'm heading to the farm near the ectofunctus. Alice wants me to talk to her husband since he's dead and she can't. Just do Restless Ghost. It's a quest for children. This ghost wants me to tell his wife he loves her. You know, I could middleman the conversation for these two, and neither of them would know if I was telling the truth. Alice, your dead husband, said his biggest regret is not filing for divorce. Hey, buddy, your wife said she can't find any money, and also she's seeing some Someone else. I spent it on cheap spirits. Mm. Alice, I regret to tell you that your dead husband was an alcoholic and he spent every last penny on bottom shelf vodka. He couldn't stand living with you or looking at you. Look, even my guy's like, just do the ghost quest, lady. Jesus Christ. All the other ghosts, chickens, and cows scared you? You're pathetic, Alice. You're pathetic. This is, this is why he became an alcoholic. He, he literally mentioned this to me. You know what? 
Screw this. Hey man, what's your bank pin? Oh, this dude thinks I'm scamming him. I bet he fell for the trick where a jackass stands at the GE saying spending two bill and puts up two mil in platinum tokens. Which, by the way, if you've ever fallen for, you gotta quit the game. This lady up here can make an altered ghost speak amulet, so... God, you are small. I just wanna throw you, like, as far as I can. Well, now this guy can talk to her with his amulet. He's gonna catch some chickens for me. God, this guy sucks. Hey, look, it's Cow Elite Killer from the movies. Buying cow hides and feathers? What? Okay, even if this guy is supposed to be a third grader in 2006, no one was spamming buying cow hides and feathers anywhere else but Varrock West Bank. I've got the two undead chickens. Here you go, Ava. I did some marriage counseling to get these. Are you gonna hand it over, or do you want to continue to waft it about menacingly? I prefer to keep this fine weapon with which to smite mine enemies. Finally, she's gonna make me my arrow backpack. I have a magnet. I gotta smash it in this mine while facing north. There's a lot of science things going on here. I'll spare you the details you simply would not understand. I'm in Berthorpe talking to the Slayer guy so he can make me a blessed axe. And now I can cut undead trees. I didn't pay attention to how many I needed, so I'm just gonna slaughter this tree for all it's worth. Chop this damn tree's arms off. Ow. I gave her all this stuff. Now I just have to unscramble these notes for her so she can make it. How did this happen? What am I looking at here? Okay, I just clicked a bunch of buttons and I win. Ladies and gentlemen, the last quest of 2006 is completed. Two thousand seven is by far the most important year in RuneScape's history. Not only did it serve as the peak of an active player base, it's the year of the game that revived its legacy when it seemed all hope was lost. Two thousand seven is the purest form of the game. The graphics, the interface, the combat mechanics, the wilderness and free trade, all crucial elements that made up the version of RuneScape that we love. This is the last true year of old school to experience on by release. Our last taste of nostalgia, so let's make it a good one. We're back in the desert getting hot, sweaty, and disgusting. It's January 10th, 2007 for quest number 118. Contact with an exclamation mark. We're heading back to Sofanum to continue the cat storyline, except I don't think there's any cats in this one at all. Plague, disease, underground pyramid puzzles. You get the gist of what we normally do when we come out here. Monkey. I'm just gonna moonwalk over to the high priest. He's the guy that we saved last time. I think we saved him. I don't know. It's been a while. Last time we proved that whatever plague was affecting everyone here was not contagious, but there's people quarantined quarantining on the other side of this river who have no idea that they could come home, so. Sounds like a quest for me. I can't turn that down. Literally, I, I cannot turn that down. I, I am, I'm not capable of turning that down. My entire purpose of existence is to do quests. This is a flashback to when the high priest was trying to go tell everybody they could come home. Those are the Menifos thugs over there. They're bad guys, I guess. I wouldn't let this guy come into town either. Even though I'm the one who proved this disease wasn't contagious, some dude walks up chicken pock faced. It's not contagious, I swear. Yeah, right, buddy. Fucking get lost. This dude's about to open fire on the high priest. So long story short, we cannot just cross the bridge and tell people to come home. I just asked this guy if there's a way into the city underground and he goes into like a five paragraph essay. Just told me so much nonsense that I just did not retain. All he needed to say is, yeah, there's a way underground. Just go to the northeast. I guess we'll go figure it out. What are these guys up to? Oh, apparently these scary scarabs have been popping out and eating people. It's a really dark, terrifying place under there. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I'll be saving the world and shit. Here we go. What? It's just a bank. You scared of the fucking IRS? What, what, what's the deal? What is this? Oh, there's a trap door. <laughs> it's really dangerous down there. Take some food with you. Don't bring valuables either. It could get cold. Did you bring a jacket? All right, let's do this. I'm excited. There's a bunch of weird traps everywhere, and if I fall, it's a shit show, so... Here we go. Uh, pardon me, I'm just, just passing by. Okay, where do I go? For sure it's down this way. My, uh... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No! Oh, God. Oh, where is this? Oh God, I'm, uh, fuck you, fuck you, I'm leaving? I'm, I'm, I just panicked so hard. I gotta be honest, I got down there, I went cross-eyed, I was so scared. So far, so good. We're almost there. Ow. Okay, that wasn't bad. I just misclicked the first time. There's a body here. Cover me, I'm looting. This guy was trying to get inside Menifos. This was one of Osmond's boys. That guy didn't have panic teleport runes. Big mistake. That guy's dead. No! Yes, I like your mustache. She wants Osmond to come here personally. I don't think she understands how hard it is to get down here. I know you just came through here to relay this information, but like, do it again, because it'd be kind of funny. I'm talking to Osmond, and he doesn't 
doesn't want to come with me. He just said he'd be lynched if he was found in Sofanum. The fuck did you do? I told him he owes me for saving Prince Ali. And he's like, no, no, the chancellor paid you. I don't owe you anything. I'm pretty sure he gave me like 200 coins, dude. We convinced him. He's fine. I geared up a little bit. I'm going to have to fight something when I get down there. So Osman's outside the city. He's going to sneak in around back. And there he is. What's he doing? He just had a 27 with a steel scimitar. Osman, I probably could have just talked to that guy. This is a little extreme. Whatever, he got in. He did his thing. Did Runelite just crash? Osman just hit that man so hard the game crashed. Runelite has never crashed on me before. Some degenerate clubbed me? Yeah, I know. It crashed my client. All right, we made it. See what's, uh, see what's going on? Uh-oh, the ground's shaking. It's just your nerves, kid. Yeah, the shaking's real. Look at her go. What's she got in her briefcase? Why'd she bring it? Osman, look out. Those flies are pulling the classic morph into giant beetle trick. You gotta get out of there. Osman, no. Oh, my guy literally said that. All right, let's do this, beetle. It's just me and you. And who the fuck is this guy? Okay, you're gonna wait on that side of the pool. This does not involve you. Beetle, you don't see me spawning in friends to fight. What's your issue? You've got like a hundred combat levels on me. It's pathetic. Look, your mage beetle isn't even helping. He's just a dumb bug with antennas on his face. Oh god, he heard me. This guy keeps poisoning through my super anti-poison. Eh, it's gotta be like a war crime or something. Oh, mage beetle number two, huh? Yeah, keep him coming. Ah, oh, there it goes. I guess you can say that beetle's been juiced. I killed him with steroids. Oh, hi, Osman. I was just being a hero. You had everything under control? Osman, let me level with you. You've got a steel scimitar. And there's a scimitar shop with a mithril scimitar like five feet away from where you're always standing. I see a problem there. It's and it's yours. Okay, he's fucking off. There's a little dagger on the ground. Karis. I guess this thing smacks beetles extra hard if I never feel like coming down here again for no reason. Okay, well, let's get out of here. All right, high priest. From now on, you refer to me as Void Knight because I just did some pest control, if you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. Now give me your money. The citizens know they can come back safely now, and that's a quest complete, baby. Mm. 2007 is officially underway. Ten quests left until the big transition, and we've got some crazy times coming. So buckle up, everyone, because we're just getting started. <laughs> In the real video, you're gonna hear me say stuff like, Quest number 115 came out on November 6, 2006, in Lighted Journey. And I'll show myself like walking over here and like looking at this guy like, oh, I wonder what he's up to. And then I'll fucking search this crate like, ah, oh, I bet he keeps his guns in here.